uh, we need to be uh, So we basically had a, a number of different types of sensors. Uh, yeah. The first sensor type is the LADAR unit, yeah. which is basically a laser uh, range sensor. Um, so we use so a number of these uh, to see all the way around the vehicle. So we actually so we have, have uh, perception all around the vehicle. Uh, we use these mostly to uh, so take obstacles. At the front bumper, we also have some camera units, beautiful bumpies, especially yeah. stereo camera pairs. Uh, we use these to really for lane detection and the stop line detection. Uh, but we also have some other cameras that we use for obstacle detection for uh, up there. Uh, the Regal is also a laser range finder. Uh, we use that for longer range uh, sensing. Uh, but also, from the reflectivity data, we could actually extract lane lines as well, uh, so those features. Uh, we had a number of kinds of units, so we could actually, we had here in sensors, so the idea there was if we could detect the regions in the map where we didn't have complete knowledge, we could actually point the sensors there and get more knowledge. Um, so that was the idea there. We also had a pretty significant GPS unit, um, that is uh, actually probably a panic unit, so it's a panic company. Um, combined GPS and differential GPS information with IMU data and odometry data uh, to maintain an estimate of where we are in the world, uh, the global uh, estimate. So obviously a lot of sensors, um, you know, what's that, that nine laser range finders and what's that, uh, five stereo camera pairs, so a lot of data crunching to do. Um, and so on the inside, we, in the end, we ended up with about 24 uh, clusters in the vehicle. We didn't use all of them necessarily. I think we used about two thirds of them. Um, but it was the complete system was about half a million lines of code and uh, yeah. you know, 100 threads running uh, in parallel just to make the system work. So it was a pretty computational intensive uh, approach. Oh,